so I've just found something out uh, with fiddling, which may be in the DJI manual, but uh, I don't know if it is, but it's pretty cool. And that is that uh, despite DJI saying to connect to the Wi-Fi on the controller to then connect to the Spark, I've found that you actually can do it via USB. So if we look here at, at this phone, uh, you can see the Spark is connected and it's showing me. Now if we go to Wi-Fi, you can see that the Wi-Fi on the phone is actually switched off. So it is in fact connected via USB. Now, the thing is, the reason I'm doing this, and the reason I try to find out if it works via USB, is partly down to the fact that when I connect via Wi-Fi, the connection is horrendous. So I'll demonstrate that for you now. So, watch, as I disconnect USB, boom, connection to the drone is lost. So, now let me connect to the drone via Wi-Fi. So I'll turn the Wi-Fi on. And there we are, Spark. So I connect to Spark. Wait for it to connect. It takes a little while. And just to, for anyone that might mention, I have got Smart Switch switched off. So we're connected to the Spark. And the phone's saying there's no internet on this connection. So now I go back to DJI Go 4. Notice how it says no signal, and then suddenly it thinks there's a signal, and then it goes aircraft disconnected and all sorts of rubbish. If I get the controller close, you see I get a signal back, but it's extremely intermittent. So, uh, well, it's pretty crap, to be honest, the Wi-Fi connection. Luckily, I have the OTG cable from my Phantom 4 Pro, which allows me to connect to the Spark via USB. Thank you for watching.